going on yo a little bit of a different video i know <laughs> um anyway i'm on a harley i'm just kidding i'm never gonna fucking own a harley these bitches oh my god but um i got a new job as a service tech haven't done manual shifting in a while so this is new but I got a job as a service technician at a company I'm not gonna mention just yet and it's a job I've wanted for a very long time um, but yeah I've wanted a motorcycle service tech a job for a very long time and I finally got it and I'm fucking loving every minute and second of this job um, the reason I am on a Harley is because I'm currently on the clock doing a extended ride sorry gotta make sure no one's gonna hit me nope nope getting to first oh fuck this bike has so many fucking issues oh my god get into fucking neutral please just get into neutral come on come on But anyway, this bike is supposedly uh, leaking oil, so I am cleaned up all the oil at the bottom, the sides, wherever I could find oil, and now I'm taking it for a test ride to see if we can recreate this issue that a customer is having. So, yeah, I don't like Harleys. This is such a weird fucking bike. <laughs> I had one of my uh, technicians say one of the funniest things as I've heard in a long time. He said, uh, if a Harley is leaking oil, at least you know it has oil. <laughs> so yeah, that's a Harley for you. So I'm supposed to go drive around for about 15 or so miles. And yeah, yesterday I got a chance to drive the uh, Zero uh, motorcycle. We got a really cool opportunity there, so I fucking took it. It was probably one of the coolest bikes I've been on in a long time. Um, fully fucking electric. I wish it had more power though. Just wish it had more power. Because once you get to about 80, it starts to like boggle out and like there is no there's no extra umph to it you get to 80 and you're just like all right that's it so yeah I hate the feeling of these Harleys, like, they're so big and heavy, yeah, everyone fucking knows that, but like, everything about it is just so fucking horrible, like, it's comfortable, I'll give it that, it's really comfortable, but the levers are so fucking huge, I have tiny hands, my fingers barely fit on the fucking levers, it's just, I don't know. I guess call it my first Harley experience, a shitty Harley experience. 
and then all the fucking techs I work with are making fun of Harleys because of how many issues they have. So, yeah. Another thing I heard uh, from one of my techs is, if you don't service your Harley, it will literally fall apart. So, <laughs> that's good to know. Don't get a Harley. Sounds good. Perfect. Whoa, Los Angeles. Where the fuck am I? Wait, it's like 50 degrees out right now. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, 8 or so in the morning. And supposedly the oil is leaking out from the right side air intake or the air filter, whatever you want to call it. Intake filter. Oh no, I'm stuck uphill. Go ahead, Ford. That's a Ducati. This is a nice little spot. Where the fuck am I? So gotta be careful because this bike is not mine, it's the company's. And I don't really want to be held responsible for a accident or drop or a crash, even though they say, oh, it's fine. The bike is not as important as you are. And I'm like, yeah, but I'd rather not have to go through all that and deal with that, you know, my first week on the job and whatnot. So, we'll go right, or sorry, left. <laughs> I don't know my right or left. I just know I'm on a Harley and this feels horrible. I'm also trying not to speed because uh, I don't want to get stopped and have to go with uh, or deal with that shit. Oh, okay. Oh, we're near the coast! Guys! We're near the fucking coast. Okay, that's badass. So, you guys get to see me ride a Harley near the coast here in Los Angeles. Aren't you guys excited? I am. Mm -hmm. This shift is fucking horrible! Get into neutral! Oh my god! I hate Harleys. This is fucking horrible. Hey, let's go! Slow. Okay, I'm going slow. In fourth gear. Let's see, turning. God, this bike feels like a fucking dinosaur. It's so fucking ass, bro. Now I understand why all the Harley guys are always so upset. These bikes are shit. 
besides them being comfortable, everything else is bad. Sorry, this video is going to be me ranting about this Harley that I don't even own. <laughs> oh, slow down. I don't like being in this side. Someone's going to jump right in front. That's a cop. second gear is that a cop all right let's try to get into neutral oh my god I'm going to fucking break this bike. Oh, we got it into neutral. Let's go. Man, these bikes are heavy as balls. Oh, I, don't, I have no idea where I'm going. I just know they told me to take it on a extended test ride. See where the oil is leaking from. Like, there was a shitload of oil down there and on this side. Um, so, we're going to see what's uh, what's going on with this bitch. Hmm. That's a nice little area. We got a green light. idea where I'm at but this is nice this is nice yeah anyway like like I said besides Harley's being comfortable they shake like ass they're heavy as balls and uh, I can't complain because I'm comfortable, but fuck, it's so loud and just, just uh, you know? I don't even know the speed limit here. Wait, let's turn my Cardo on so we could listen to some music. Okay, Google, play music on Spotify. Another cop? There's a lot of popo over here. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Play music on Spotify. Yo, what the fuck? 
oh, I'm going to have to stop and get my earphones, or not my earphones, uh, get my phone out. I think I'm going to pull into this parking lot right here up at the right, if there is a parking lot. I'm just driving around. So there's residential area here. Why is the cop breaking? Da, 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 da. Oh. There's no stop sign. Why is he breaking? To slow down, I guess. We'll slow down as well. Oh, I could go in there. That's nice. I could stop it. I could even grab breakfast and they won't even know. <laughs> That's so slimy, but, you know. I had coffee for breakfast. I, I just need a parking lot real quick so I could pull my phone out and listen to music while I do this shit. Because I'm supposed to go on a quote-unquote 15 mile to 30 mile test ride and yeah like I said and figure out whatever the hell is going on with this shit. Honestly though this bike is comfortable but it's loud. At least make it quiet. Oh, puppies. Oh, who's calling me? But this bike is probably this is but this bike is easy to ride. It's beside it being like 800 or so pounds, it's a really fun and good like cruising bike if you wanna if you wanna call it a cruising bike. Stupid rats. I hate little dogs. One thing you guys should know about me is I hate little dogs. Should we go to the right? I have no idea what's to the right. We'll go to the right. I hope it's not like... Going to the right. Also, I am sorry for waking all these people up this early in the morning. I'm sure half of these people are sleeping. Like, like this bike is so, it's so planted and it's so steady. And like the bumps don't, you don't feel it as much as you do in a sport bike. Like that's one of the things I love so much about this bike. But fuck, everything is broken on Harleys. Like, not broken, but like, the bike shakes so much, which is why if you don't, according to the service tech that I work with, who's been working there for a long time, um, 
which is why if you don't take your harley to get serviced or service it yourself it will literally vibrate loose i guess you could call it that don't don't make it dirty just don't make it dirty but like with how much the bike vibrates like all the bolts everything that way Like what? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even finish what I was saying. Like with how much the bike vibrates and uh, shakes because of how they are made from Harley, all the bolts and everything on it will come loose because of well, the bike being made the way it was made or designed, I guess. I have no idea where the fuck I am at. But I know I'm getting paid to do this. <laughs> Which is cool. Like these extended... Whoop. Extended tesserides are... Are cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm not finishing my sandwiches or sentences.